misconceptions about past performance and future returns. Is there a quick and easy way to predict uh, changes in trend? Um, I would tend to use uh, the relative strength uh, indicator um, or the index. Uh, basically, uh, that seems to be a leading indicator on price action. And that's sort of norm that's normally the first place I look to see whether a trend might be changing. The RSI falls below 50 out of 100. Uh, it can be a, a sign that uh, things are starting to go uh, uh, head south. Identifying market trends and assessing its strength. Why, why is heavy volume indicative of the strength of a trend? Uh, well, actually, I'm probably um, rather un uh, rather unusual in thinking that. Uh, uh, volume is not quite uh, should not be regarded in a very in the ultimate you know, I mean in the way that other people tend to use it people s tend to think that high volume in a market confirms the change of a trend or a change of a move or, a move or momentum behind a move um, I actually think that uh, it's not quite as reliable as you might think because it assumes that most people in the market um, actually are actually getting it right or actually know what they're doing and in those situations, as much as anything else, they may be panicking out at the bottom or panicking in at the top. And that's obviously where the biggest volume is. The, the biggest volume is at the top of a market on the buy side and uh, um, uh, at the bottom of a market on the sell side. So if, 90, you know, if most short-term traders are losing money, you would assume that actually the buying climax would be the top of the move, not the, uh, or the, you know, the, the, not the, the bottom of the move. Uh, the simplest way of anticipating price movement is to determine the trend which you would do via uh, trend lines and, and try and fit the market or the, the recent price action within uh, trend lines on both the support and resistance.